Hello, welcome back to the next episode of the Tattoo Curry Geezer. Today, something totally different. Um, I don't understand what's vegetarian, what's vegan, and all the difference between this, that, and the other. Yes, I know there's no meat, or some allow fish, some don't. So I'm just going to do a vegetable curry. Okay, I'm using the veg that I like. So I'm using spinach, peas, cauliflower, and potatoes. Okay, that's that tin. Um, I use a lot. They're really good for curries. I don't care what anyone says. 37-38p for a massive tin. Drained, you get 350 gram. Right, and the rest of the ingredients. So, kashiri, methi, pants, fran, tandoori masala, kashmiri, mixed powder, green cardamom, sugar, coconut. Try and get vine tomatoes. They're a lot better. One onion. If you've got smaller onions, use two. Minced ginger and garlic. Pepper, salt, sugar, it's all to taste. Coconut milk, flour, it's up to you. Um, coriander and lemon, that's it. I want some water. Gonna need some water for when it gets a bit sticky. Right, let's crack on. All right, no base gravy in this, so we're gonna be using a lot of oil. Probably about four tablespoons there. So bring that up to temperature. Gonna be quite a long video as well geezers so sit down go get yourself put on pause go get yourself a nice cup of coffee yeah it's my coffee you want to try isn't it one day hopefully so yeah go get yourself a nice cup of coffee sit back relax and just watch this video it could be 20 minutes long by the time i've finished you want me to do stuff with no base gravy you've got to suffer as well as me I'm joking, of course. I love you all. Okay, cardamom pods, three. Smash them before you put them in. It's the inside you want. I'm trying to do things as I go, and I've just realised I haven't chopped up my onion. Right, I'm just going to turn the heat down. Right. Where are we? The equivalent of one onion. If you can't dice it really fine, just dice it really thin. <coughs> oh, I just woke up again. Always just waking up for my videos, on not Jesus? Ginger garlic paste. Use whatever you want. Use jars, whatever. All right, wooden spoon. Yeah, people that say they don't use jars, they've used jars, trust me. There's nothing wrong with jars. Oh, there's vinegar in it, no sugar, Sherlock. Really, right. A bit of salt on the onions. In with the tomatoes next. We have to cook these right down now to a, a slush. The salt is in, which will help it cook a bit quicker. But just a top tip, take your tomatoes down, if I can spin them over. Like so. Right, just turn the heat down a bit, put your lid on and let it just sweat away. You want it down to a mush. If it looks like it's sticking, put some water in. But it should be fine with the amount of oil that's in there. Right. So I'm just going to come back in about six, seven minutes time. Oh, I forgot to put the pan for an in. So a couple of teaspoons of pan for an. If you haven't got pants for ant, just use a few cumin seeds. If you haven't got cumin seeds, don't use anything. It just adds, it just adds to it. Right, give them a mix since we need them to fry off. They're all getting soft already. It's only been a couple of minutes. Right, lid back on. Heat on low. Give it a few more minutes. Okay, so it's had a few more. Here's a top tip for you. You leave the skin in if you wish, but you don't want the skin of the tomatoes. Look at that. 
once they cook, they just peel off. Simple as that. It just makes it a lot easier to mush up the tomatoes when you <clears throat> take the outer layer of skin off. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Only Fools and Horses. Right, time some powders. Meat powder. Because there's no base gravy, we are using slightly more than normal. So two tablespoons of mix. Teaspoon of tandoori masala. And for a little kick, not a massive kick. A level teaspoon of Kashmiri. If you want a bigger kick, use um, extra hot chili powder. Right, we'll give that one mix in and fry off the spices. Oh, there we go, look, it's starting to take shape now. Keep squishing down them tomatoes. Sugar to taste, coconut milk flour powder, optional, <clears throat> just gives it a bit more flavour and slightly changes the colour, so that's coconut milk powder, just don't use anything other, don't use desiccated, don't, ugh, it's just too grainy. If you haven't got proper coconut milk powder, don't use it. Don't use any. Right, a little pinch of Percy pepper. To taste. Pinch more salt. To taste. Remember no base, I'm using a non-stick casserole pot. This is gonna be amazing. <clears throat> right, water, I'm going in with 150 mil. Which is that. Quick stir. Just let it simmer. I'm on about a medium flame again now. So then we'll be going in with the veggies. Cauliflower. I use frozen. Yeah, use fresh if you want. Just make sure it's all covered. That goes in first, it takes slightly longer. Lovely jubbly. Spinach. Beautiful stuff. Again, just make sure it's all covered. Frozen blocks. Okay, get them in most supermarkets. Brilliant invention, whoever invented that. Obviously a woman. A bloke could never invent something as cool as that. So, lid back on. Like I say, it's about half hour from start to finish. And we will need some more water soon. So lid back on, heat down to about a quarter, and just leave it for a few minutes. And also remember, I'm using the veggies that I like. Okay, if there's something you don't like, don't put it in. If there's something else you do, you can put carrot in it amongst other stuff. Okra. I can't think of any other stuff off the top of my head. But yeah, 
you can put any of what you want. This is just basically showing you how to make the sauce with no base and then put in what you want. I mean, whatever cooks for the longest, you put in first. So, all right, potatoes. Like I said, I use a tin. I cut up, I cut in half the big ones. There weren't actually that many big ones in this tin, which is perfect. Only trouble is with these, if you do save some, when you microwave it to warm it back up, these potatoes tend to blow up. So make sure you've got a lid on when you're reheating it, or just reheat it back on the hob. Right, get in there now. A bit more water. So that's 300 ml in total. 300. I will have to change my recipe because I think I said 200. Okay, heat back on medium. Peas always go in last because they take like a second to cook. Yeah, that coconut milk powder. I must stop calling it flour. Yeah, it, it is. It's coconut milk flour or coconut milk powder. As long as it's coconut milk, it doesn't really matter. But it just plays on my mind because about a year ago, somebody got confused and accused me of doing the wrong recipe when actually it was their fault. So that's why I'm quite specific. Right. Good pinch of coriander, chopped, stalks and all. Nice squirt. Because we all like a nice squirt. Lemon. A couple of them, I think. Oh, try not to drop any pips in like that. already in there like that I don't know what bother with lemon it does my head in right just gently mix it in now because that cauliflower is starting to get soft now nearly there geezers nearly there right a sherry method. Some people put it in at the beginning, put it in at the end, scrunch it up, release the flavours, and we'll have another pinch of that. Lovely jubbly. Rodney. Lovely jubbly. Just watched a new series, well it's not a new series actually, it's called Sandy. Hold on. Yeah, it's called Sandy Lands. Two series, three episodes in each. Absolutely brilliant. Mind you, I live by the beach, so I like anything that's sandy. Oh, throwing me methy leaves everywhere. Yeah, can't beat a bit of sand. Like when you go on holiday to a nice sandy beach. Right, lid back on, leave it for a few more minutes. Well, it's had about four minutes, let's have a quick check. Yeah, turn the heat right down now. Yeah, that's cooked. Lovely. Peas. Oh, he's frozen. What else is it? You buy fresh peas? I don't care if you can, I use frozen. Don't need many peas. And do you know what? They're now cooked. <laughs> That's how long peas take to cook. They're done. All right, just wait for my cheap rice and then we'll be dishing it out. I well, am actually looking forward to it. I was gonna have a side of, believe it or not, I was gonna have a side of chicken tikka. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, because I've spent most of the weekend asleep, I haven't had a chance to do one. This is for, I'm on, on, look at that. Here we go, more bloopers. No, we'll leave that one in. Yeah, I'm back on days tomorrow for the four days. So there is a vegetarian in the place where I work, so I'll be taking one of these in for set person. Very nice. I'm good like that. Right, there's my voice done. Time to dish it out. There we have it. Oh, bloody gardeners. Right, potato, cauliflower, little garnish of coriander, spinach, peas, peel of rice, loads of cauliflower. Right, let's have a little piece of, oh, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be hot. I know it's gonna be hot. Cauliflower potato, otherwise known as an alu gobi. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll tell you what, that's really mmm. Oh my god, that's actually really surprised me. That is so good. Mmm. That is really, really nice. Our first attempt at, well, what I'm calling a vegetarian curry, a veg, sorry, a vegetable curry. I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> I'm quite scared of vegans and vegetarians. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's got a nice little gentle kick. I mean, you can add green chilies if you want more. Mmm. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. There we have it, geezers. I'm off for some nosh. I'll probably have to have steak and chips later. But there we go. My version of a vegetable curry. You like what I do? Please, please give me a thumbs up. Comment. Share. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Have a chat. I don't bite. I will try and respond to every comment, correspondence, but the most important thing, please, please subscribe. Hit that bell, get notifications on my next videos. I'm total amateur. Look, if I can do it, you can do it. Tato Curry Geezer, out. <laughs>